Welcome to Sailing with the Jameses. I'm Kate. And this is Sam. And this is our daughter, Charlie. A couple of months ago, we sold our house and all of our belongings and bought Endless Summer, a 55-foot Bruce Roberts yacht. We are now living on board full-time while we sail around the world. Follow our journey by pressing subscribe. This episode on Sailing with the Jameses. Alrighty guys, so we're just making ready to depart Keswick Island on our way into the thriving metropolis that is Mackay, where we're going to get hauled out. Now, uh, what we've done, um, you pay per foot um, when you're there for either your, your cleaning and for your, your day rate and for your lift rate. So we've taken the tender off the davits at the back. We've folded the davits in. So in order to do this, we lifted the uh, outboard off with the davit crane right there, put the outboard on its stand and uh, folded those in to make the boat seem shorter so we don't have to pay quite as much. And our tender at the moment is up on the foredeck here. So we used our spinnaker halyard and lifted it up and have placed it there for the um, time that we're on the slip. So we'll get ready. There's a, a bit of a breeze out at the moment. It should be quite a good sail and it shouldn't take us too long to head to Mackay. So this is the back of summer. These are the davits here. This is what we haul the tender up on. So as we were saying before, when you go into marina, normally you pay by length. So if your davits are out, it adds extra footage. So you pay extra for having the davits out. So a lot of people pull their davits in. We're lucky that we've got folding davits. The outboard we've hauled up and it's sitting on the edge. And up here on the bow is our tender. So she's secure. We've got lines heading forward and crossing back. So she can't really move. We hold her up with the spinnaker halyard and she's squished in between right in front of the mast. And we're off and onwards to Mackay! Hey. Yeah. What do you think Charlie? Are you excited to haul out? We've just left Keswick Island, so we were at that bay right there. Uh, middle of the three bays on the southern end of Keswick Island. So we are there for three days for the northerly blows. The trade winds in the area are southeastern trade winds. So all the northerly anchorages that you'd normally go to are um, rocky or they're coral. So it's really nice to go to a beach where it's beautiful sand. So that was beautiful. It was like our own private Whitehaven beach for the day. And that island in the distance where my finger is, is St. Bees. And this one here is Keswick. They look like they're the same island. Uh, there's a small, there's a gap in between them where you can sail down. And there's a small community. There's some houses right here small community on Keswick Island and they have their own boat ramp, their own little airstrip, um, own little depot there. It's very cool. So we are currently pushing tide. So our speed is 4.6, 4.8, 5.1. Um, the tide should be changing during the middle of our about three hours time. So we got a diver in uh, when we bought the boat in Pitwater. So the diver was down, scrubbed the hull because um, she's due for an anti-foul. 
So we bought her in August and um, it is now middle of, this, middle of November, but um, the growth has just grown really fast. We, we need some anti foul on her. Here we are at the Mackay Marina. This one is the industrial one right there. And um, we're going to the slipway just up there. You can see some boats out of the water on the hard stand. So we are scheduled to be hauled out first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, the slip yard starts at 6 a.m. So we are going into the slip now. Um, we're going to spend the night in the slip and then we'll be the first boat hauled out in the morning. They finish at 2.30, so it's after 2.30 and the slipyard has said to come on in and we'll tie up and we'll be ready to go first thing in the morning. So this boat here is from Amsterdam. The name is Happy Star. Sam and I used to work on boats like this. And over here we have the Mackay Marina that we're moving into. Hi! Hello, Charlie girl. Yeah? You waving to all the boats? So we are all tied up here at Mackay. We've got our fenders out. Oh no! Oh no! All your shoes undone. Yeah. So we are in this slip here. So you can see that one and this road here, and this road here. The travel lift comes down and we'll get hauled out. And it's currently low tide at the moment. Oh no! Are your shoes undone? And um, we're going to go ahead and. We've gotten the pram out, we've got a bag full of water, and we're going to go explore. <laughs> Hello! Now you've got to wait. And off we go! There's Summer down there. And her mast is all the way up here. on a walk exploring the Mackay Marina, checking out the boats um, and if you listen closely um, you can hear the wind blow through all the masts and all the stays. There's a humming sound through all of them. So we are headed back to summer. We went for a little walk around the marina, had some fish and chips, and um, we're headed back home for an early night. It's gonna be an early morning and a long couple of days doing some work to summer. All right, so here we are all safe and secure. We've just um, been for a bit of a walk to check out all the boats along the front here. Um, one of the reasons we chose Mackay Marina to get lifted out uh, well, actually, the, the, the main one was purely cost. A lot of places nowadays, they won't let you paint your own boat or do a lot of your own work. You have to use their uh, required trades. So here they're going to let us do it ourselves, which brings the cost down a lot. Also, it costs to come in the marina the night before. They've let us come and tie up alongside this dock uh, because we're getting left out first thing in the morning for free. So we get to come in here it's not the most desirable dock there's no water or power or anything but then we get to go on for a walk check out the town uh, the stuff around the marina are all for free so um, yeah with all of that it, we found it to be one of the most cost effective uh, places to get hauled out in Queensland so we'll let you know what we think once we're back in the water with everything but so far they've been wonderful and um, hopefully yeah we'll get everything done and be back as quick as possible the boatyard's just asking where we want the uh, slings placed. 
from what kind of keel we have. Charlie, she's got her shoes on, ready to go. She's gonna work. Got a couple of helpers on the floor there, and we'll be off. Baked beans, coffee, just waiting for the jug to boil. Alrighty guys, so here we are up on the slip. Um, as you saw her previously, she's been water blasted by the yard. Uh, then me and Kate came along and we just went around and just looked for any kind of soft spots, see any bubbles, uh, uh, osmosis, uh, flaking paint, anything like that. We're very lucky. We didn't find any bubbles or anything in the hole. Um, also, on all the brass fittings, there's really not any wastage or anything like that. You want to sort of look at all your skin fittings and make sure that they're okay when you do take her out of the water. And then all we've done is there was a couple of little bits where uh, the paint was a bit flaky, so we dug it all the way. There was no moisture or anything behind it, but then we just bog it to make it nice and smooth. We'll give it a quick sand, and then we're going to anti-foul. And uh, we'll be painting all of this nice and black. It should be looking beautiful, and we'll be ready to go back into the water. So Sam's mixing up some bog. Universal body filler. Love it. Adult play doh. Yeah, so we've just got a little bit here because we didn't expect uh, to have to use it, and, and we don't really. We're just um, filling a little bit of the dips where uh, the anti foul has gone back to the fiberglass just to smooth it over. No uh, blisters or anything like that that require bogging over. It hasn't gotten in between the layers, and we haven't had to dig anything out extensively. Um, but seeing as we've got it, we're have a play and smooth it all over and we'll try and make it as pretty as possible. Here's Charlie helping us. We're really lucky that we've got a little helper with us in the yard. So Summer's water line is all taped and Sam is up on the scaffolding doing her, doing the top bit. <laughs> um, we're both a bit, a bit covered. Yeah. A bit covered in paint. <laughs> <laughs> what am I cooking, you ask? <laughs> further back 
And if you're wondering how we're, we are living on board while we're on the hard stand, um, we're getting on and off via this uh, ladder here. It's tied on on both ends up at the stanchions and it's tied to the blocks down here. And um, when we go up, we just have to, uh, one of us has to carry Charlie. That's um, how we're getting up and down. The, uh, the boat next to us is a Lagoon 500. Massive boat, she's absolutely beautiful. And the guys in the yard were telling us that she's been here for a little bit. She's uh, insurance work, she's doing some insurance work. She hit a whale. And um, you can see back here, she's getting new rudders. Um, she's in the sling because this afternoon they, uh, the rudders arrived and the guys were fitting the rudders. So if you look down, you can see the other one down there. Oh yeah, she hit a whale. Hope the whale's okay. But she also has a bow thruster. And she is absolutely massive. She's a beauty. She's the, like the same size as us, just the one haul. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. So it's the morning of day two. We punched in yesterday and got a lot done. So we were able to scrape the bottom, get it all prepped and start anti-fouling. So we were up until late last night doing painting and this morning we are finishing off the waterline. So we're gonna finish off with taping and then do the waterline. The anodes look really good. Um, the yard and the workers in the yard were really impressed that the anodes look fabulous. Uh, we don't need to replace them. We did get two brand new ones, so they're on board, so we'll keep them on board for the next time summer is rolled out. Um, today, finishing off the water line this morning, we're going to repack the stern gland and yeah, Summer looked really good. The last time she was anti-fouled was 2018 in Fiji and she's been sitting for a little while. There was a lot less anti-fouled than what we both suspected on her, so it's really good that we're getting her anti-fouled. Um, no blisters at all. We're really surprised. We were expecting a few blisters. There's no blisters at all. Both really pleased about that. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what a blister is, it's when water can get underneath either the gel coat or the paint um, and it creates a blister and you really want to watch out for those types of things because you don't want it to go into the fiberglass. We are a fiberglass hull and once water gets into the fiberglass, it can peel away the fiberglass layers. It'll sink down lower, peel away the fiberglass and you get what's called osmosis. So um, we didn't have any of that, which is fabulous. and. Um, yeah, we had a really good day yesterday. So today's mission is this water line. So Summer's water line is now all painted. We are now headed on to repacking the stern gland. So it is the end of day two. So if we come down into the companion way, this is the new fitting for the depth sounder and speed lock. So we've had to get a new fitting there. The old one was smaller, new one was bigger, but the depth sounder is now in. You just have to connect the wires and we'll have a working depth sounder. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> and if we come further into the companion way and come over here, the stern gland was repacked today. So this is the stern gland here. So this is the shaft to the engine. So behind me is the engine. This is a Ford Liam, 65 horsepower. Um, so yeah, so this is the stern gland. This is what we had to come out and get repacked. Uh, ours is a grease impregnated leather. 
just taking out all the redundant wiring. We've found on a lot of the boats that we've been on, there's so uh, <laughs> uh, many wires in that there that you, you look at the electrical systems and they seem quite scary, but half of it's either not in use or not connected to anything. So if we take the old stuff out, it's a lot more simpler for the next person when they come on board and hopefully a lot less daunting. They won't have to go through and uh, label everything to figure out what they are and stuff. So, yeah, I'll just take it out completely. So today is relaunch day. The summer's all painted, all the maintenance has been done, and we are getting ready to be uh, getting ready to be um, strapped up and put back into the water. So Summer now has some stickers on her about there. It lines up with the the slings, so right over there and right over there, so that the next time she gets hauled out, um, those stickers will stay on. And the next marina, when we come back, they'll know exactly where to put the slings um, for positioning for lifting out. So Summer is successfully relaunched and she's all tied up and out of the slings. The last thing to do is the back stays. We have to reattach them to the back. So Sam is currently reconnecting the back stays. So that is this wire here and that wire right there. And the back stays are what hold the mast. And this one is the other and the black thing on the back stay on the starboard side is our uh, HF radio um, and so Sam is tying it up retensioning it and the reason we had to take the back stays off was to fit into the travel lift otherwise the top bar of the travel lift would have been putting tension on our back stays And this is the man overboard thing that sits on the back stay. Put back on so it sits all the way nicely up there and the flags in that um, plastic bit at the top. That's where that sits. So right now Sam is downstairs checking the stern gland because you don't want any water coming through. Um, any more water than, than should be coming through. So I'm up here putting it in reverse, neutral, forward, neutral, and he's downstairs. Yeah, so we're checking the stern gland now after retention in the stays.
We've just left Mackay and we're headed towards Brampton Island, which is over here. There is 12.6 knots of breeze out and we are going with 8.1. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe to follow our journey.